In this presentation, we'll discuss the history of JavaScript. JavaScript was created in 10 days in May 1995 by Brendan Eich. Brendan Eich was working at Netscape and now currently working with Mozilla. At the time, JavaScript was not always known as JavaScript. The original name was Mocha and uh, chosen by a former founder of Netscape. The name was then changed to LiveScript. The name JavaScript was adopted when Netscape received a license, a trademark license from Sun Microsystems. Now, JavaScript has nothing to do with Java. It should not be confused with Java because Java was simply a very popular language at the time. And JavaScript, even though completely unrelated to Java, was filling the need for a scripting language within the early web browsers. At the time, Netscape teamed up with Sun Microsystems to create JavaScript. Sun Microsystems claimed the trademark ownership of the name JavaScript and allowed Netscape to have a license. Now, Netscape and Sun Microsystems wanted to have standardization, wanted to have their language standardized. And they went to the W3C, and the W3C uh, turned them down. Uh, they found their way eventually to the European Computer Manufacturers Association, and which is where the term ECMAScript comes from. So JavaScript is, is actually a version of ECMAScript. And JavaScript, the name JavaScript, is a trademark at the time of Sun Microsystems and is now currently owned by Oracle. Um, ECMAScript is used for client-side scripting and... The, there are multiple versions of ECMAScript. In, in 1997, uh, JavaScript was officially uh, standardized by ECMA International, which is the European Computer Manufacturers Association. Microsoft created their own version of browser scripting language similar to JavaScript called JScript, which they implemented in Internet Explorer. Uh, JScript was included in Internet Explorer 3.0, which was released in August 1996. The name ECMAScript was compromised. It was a compromise between the, the uh, organizations involved in standardizing the language, uh, mostly Netscape and Microsoft. So as JScript and JavaScript came head-to-head -head as the scripting language used in standard web browsers, Microsoft and Netscape kind of started duking it out over um, who had the rights to what or who had the standardization. And the European Computer Manufacturing Association uh, basically compromised by calling the standard ECMAScript. So they could say that JScript and JavaScript were both standards of, of uh, ECMAScript. And while both JavaScript and JScript aim to be compatible, they also provide additional features that were not described in the ECMA specifications. In 1997, the first edition of ECMAScript was published by Guy L. Steele Jr. The next edition came in 1998, where editorial changes came to keep the specification aligned with ISO international standards. And in December of 1999, regular expressions were added, along with better string handling, new control statements, and try-catch exception handling, along with tighter definitions of errors and uh, numeric outputs, formatting, and other enhancements. Uh, the fourth edition was abandoned due to political differences concerning the uh, language complexity, and many features proposed uh, for that edition had been dropped. In December of 2009, a strict mode was added in the fifth edition of ECMAScript. And uh, the library also had support for JSON, which is JavaScript Object Notation, which is the object-oriented uh, programming uh, style of JavaScript. Um, in 2011, edition 5.1 was released. Uh, which is the third edition of the internet of the international standard of ISO and in June of 2015 the sixth edition initially known as ECMAScript 6 
was introduced. Um, there are other editions, uh, also in June of 2016, the seventh edition uh, seems to that it was a released, and it's intended that the uh, language continues to evolve. The next major event with respect to JavaScript was in 2005 when Brendan Eich and Mozilla rejoined ECMA as a nonprofit member to start work on ECMAScript 4. And Doug Crockford, then at Yahoo, joined forces with Microsoft in 2007 to oppose ECMAScript 4. But while all this was happening, the, the uh, open source developer community, community set to work to revolutionize what could be done with JavaScript. The, this effort was sparked by Jesse James Garrett in 2005, who released a paper uh, discussing AJAX, which stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And this described a set of technologies in which JavaScript was the cornerstone used to create web applications where data could be loaded in the background, avoiding the need for reloading the page and resulting in more dynamic applications. The outcome of, of this effort was responsible for spawning a great deal of open source libraries and communities such as Prototype, uh, MooTools, and jQuery. Today, JavaScript has evolved to provide immense capabilities in data binding and even server-side development. Uh, Node.js and Angular are two of the most popular JavaScript frameworks today. Node.js can be used for developing server-side languages and has its own package manager uh, for open source packages and, and other software uh, products. And Angular JS was developed and maintained by Google and is now one of the fastest growing uh, web application frameworks available.